Hello and welcome to a new series of Mastermind with me, Clive Myrie. In the spotlight tonight are Christine McBurney, a psychologist whose specialist subject is the Poirot novels of Agatha Christie. Charles Bedford, a building surveyor. His subject is the Calvin and Hobbes cartoons of Bill Watterson. Sanjay Nath, a junior doctor. He'll be answering questions on the Canadian rapper Drake and Ruth Hart, a health policy officer whose subject is the period of industrial unrest in Scotland, known as Red Clydeside. More fabulous contenders, more pressure, more jeopardy and more great television. It's that time every week to get around the telly and see the nation's best quizzes vying for the ultimate prize, the splendid mastermind glass bowl, allowing the winner to beat their chest and tell the world they're a mastermind champion. Oh no, ooh, ah, you'll cry as you follow every twist and turn of what I'm sure will be an amazing competition across the heats, the semis and the grand final. As always, there's two minutes for their specialist subject and two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, to begin our new series, can I ask our first contender to join us, please? Your name? Christine McBurney. Your occupation? Psychologist. And your specialist subject? The Proro novels of Agatha Christie. The classic crime novels about the renowned Belgian detective with the magnificent moustaches. In two minutes, let's go. What faculties famously relied on by Poirot when solving crimes does he say will grow the rust if not exercised? Little grey cells. Yes, in the ABC murders after the killing of the tobacconist Alice Asher in Andover, the waitress Betty Barnard is found dead on a beach in which seaside resort? Bex Hill on Sea. Yes, when Poirot moves into the larches in the village of King's Abbot, his neighbour, the local doctor, initially believes him to be a retired member of what profession? Hairdresser. Yes, which Poirot novel takes its title from a song that begins Come Away, Come Away, Death in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night and is printed as an epigraph to the book? Sad Cypress. Yes, in the murder of Roger Ackroyd, what chapter title indicates both the weapon used in the crime and its country of origin? The Baghdad... Dagger? No, the Tunisian dagger. Poirot's holiday in Evil Under the Sun is interrupted by the murder of the former actress Arlena Marshall during his stay at which hotel on Smuggler's Island? Uh, the Jolly Roger. Yes. In Curtin, Dr John Franklin is experimenting with alkaloids derived from what highly poisonous bean? The Calabar bean. Yes. What's the name of the valet to the wealthy Simeon Lee in Hecule Poirot's Christmas, who, according to other occupants at Gorston Hall, has a habit of sneaking round like a cat and listening at doors? Horbury. Yes. In Cards on the Table, what's the surname of the superintendent, one of the dinner guests of the flamboyant art collector, Mr Shaitana, who's described as a big, square, wooden-faced man who always looks stolid and rather stupid? Battle. Yes, in Cat Among the Pigeons. What's the full name of the senior prefect at Meadowbank School who tells her mother that Miss Springer, the new game's mistress, is terribly bossy and nobody likes her much? Oh, Jennifer Sutcliffe. No, Margaret Gore West. What's the name of the Secret Service officer who, according to Poirot, was usually to be found in some outpost of empire, especially if there were trouble brewing? Colonel Race. Yes, the murder weapon in Death on the Nile. I've started, so I'll finish. In Death on the Nile, a small pearl-handled pistol is fished out of the river wrapped in a velvet stole belonging to which passenger? Oh, um... Countess Dragimoff. No, Marie van Schuyler. Christine, you had no passes and you've got nine points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. Your name? Charles Bedford. Your occupation? A building surveyor. And your specialist subject? The Calvin and Hobbes cartoons. Yes, Bill Watterson's irreverent comic strips about a young boy named Calvin and his stuffed tiger, Hobbes. In two minutes... Let's go. Throughout the entire 10-year run of the strip, Calvin never ages and remains how many years old? Six. Yes. What was the name of the grey tabby cat owned by Bill Watterson, whom he cites as the main inspiration for Hobbes? Sprites. Yes. In the first published strip from November 1985, Calvin captures Hobbes in a tiger trap using as bait a sandwich with what filling? 
Tuna fish. Yes, Watterson traces Calvin's alter ego spaceman Spiff back to a comic strip he drew as part of a high school German class. What was the title of the strip? Realm Farrer Rolf. Yes, what's the first name of the long-suffering babysitter who often demands advances and pay increases from Calvin's parents before agreeing to look after him? Rosalind. Yes, what device made out of a cardboard box did Calvin invent, which he claims restructures your chemical configuration and turns you into whatever you'd like to be? The transmogrifier. Yes, in a strip published in 1989, when Calvin lies awake in bed and asks, I wonder why man was put on Earth. What's our purpose? Why are we here? Hobbes gives what two-word reply? Tiger food. Yes, what creatures, which Calvin mistakenly calls bugs, are the subject of a school report he presents without having done any research, believing he'll get an A grade because he's used a professional clear plastic binder. Bats. Yes, the bedtime story referred to in several strips without any further details being provided, which Calvin's father claims to have read to him a million times, is entitled Hamster Huey and the what? The Gooey Kablooey. Yes, Calvin's teacher, whom he asks for assurance that his education is adequately preparing him for the 21st century. He's named after a character in which C.S. Lewis novel? Screw tape letters. Yes. What adjective precedes the words psycho jungle cat in the title of a collection of strips published as a book in 1994? Pass. In the closing frames of the final published strip from December 1995, Calvin says it's a magical world, Hobbes, old buddy, followed by what three words? Let's go explore. Yes, which cartoonist who died in 1944 drew the crazy cat? I've said it's all finished. Drew the Crazy Cat cartoon strip that Watterson has cited as his most important influence. George Herriman. It was George Herriman. Jazz, you had just the one pass. Uh, the adjective that precedes the word psycho jungle cat in the title of collection strips, published as a book in 1994, homicidal. And at the end of that round, Chaz, you've got 12 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name? Sanjay Nath. Your occupation? Junior doctor. And your specialist subject? Drake. The Canadian rapper, singer, songwriter and former teenage actor born Aubrey Drake Graham in 1986. In two minutes, let's go. What's the title of Drake's first mixtape released in February 2006? So far gone. No room for improvement. After his parents' divorce, Drake sometimes attended recording studios and gigs in the summer with his musician father, who'd moved to which American city? Memphis. Yes. Which Drake single won the Best Rap Song Award at the Grammys in 2017, prompting him to express his frustration that the song had not been nominated in a pop category instead? Hotline Blink. Yes. Drake dedicated his 2022 album, Honestly, Never Mind, to which late fashion designer? Virgil Abloh. Yes. What's the name of the artist who created both versions of the album cover for Drake's third studio release, Nothing Was the Same, depicting the rapper as a child in one design and as an adult in the other? Uh, Kadir? More? Jones? No, Nelson. In the 2012 animated film Ice Age Continental Drift, Drake provides the voice of a character called Ethan, a representation of what prehistoric creature? Lima. No, Woolly Mammoth, who produced Drake's 2009 song, Best I Ever Had, first released on the So Far Gone mixtape and described the effect the song had on his production career as like winning a beat battle. Noah Shabib? No, Boy Wonder. Which song was included with Money in the Grave on Drake's third EP, The Best in the World Pack, released to celebrate the Toronto Raptors winning the 2019 NBA Championship? Winning story. No, Omerta. In a season seven episode of the television drama series Degrassi, The Next Generation, Drake's character Jimmy Brooks raps over what song being performed by his girlfriend Ashley in the school's talent show? Pass. Who directed the music video for Drake's song In My Feelings less than six months after becoming the first individual female winner of Canada's Lipset Award for Music Video Art? Uh... Karina Jones? No, Karina Evans in his... I've started so I'll finish. In his opening monologue as host of Saturday Night Live in 2014, Drake apologised for coining what term, saying that he did not realise your annoying friends and co-workers would use it so much. You only live once. Yes, YOLO. YOLO.
So, Sanjay, you had just the one pass in a season seven episode of the television drama series Degrassi, The Next Generation, Drake's character Jimmy Brooks raps over Tell Me Lies. And at the end of that round, Sanjay, you've got four points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. Your name? Ruth Hart. Your occupation? Health policy officer. And your specialist subject? Red Clyde Cider. Yeah, the period of left-wing activism and industrial unrest in and around Glasgow in the early part of the 20th century. In two minutes, let's go. What was the title of the Glasgow Socialist Weekly Paper, founded in 1906 by the future cabinet minister, Tom Johnston? The Forward. Yes, in March 1911, 12 women employed in what role at the Clyde Bank Singer sewing machine factory went on strike after being told to take on a higher workload for reduced wages. Cabinet polishers. Yes, what name was given to the government's policy introduced in 1915 of allowing unskilled workers to fill labour shortages in munitions factories? Dilution. Yes, the Clyde Workers Committee was formed in 1915 during a strike at which factory in Cathcart, which had recruited additional labourers from the United States and paid them more than the local workers? Weirs. Yes, on Christmas Day 1915, David Lloyd George addressed workers opposed to his Restrictive Munitions Act at what Glasgow venue? St. Andrews Halls. Yes, during the 1915 rent strike in Govan, bailiffs were thwarted by a so-called army of protesters led by which activist? Mary Barber. Yes, the socialist campaigners Patrick and Agnes Dolan, who later became Lord and Lady Provost of Glasgow, first met as members of what leisure group which organised cycling trips in order to distribute political leaflets? The Glasgow Clarion Scouts. Yes, when an article in the socialist newspaper, The Worker, was deemed seditious, which activist, the paper's editor, took the blame and served a year-long prison sentence? Johnny Muir. Yes, in 1916, when factory workers went on strike in protest at dilution, several shop stewards were arrested and expelled from Glasgow to Edinburgh by police officers who claimed to be using powers granted under what Act of Parliament? The Defence of the Realm Act. Yes, what was the name of the anti-war organisation founded in 1916 by the activists Helen Crawford and Agnes Dolan. The Women's Peace Crusade. Yes, in an incident known as Bloody Friday. In January 1919, baton-wielding police officers confronted a large crowd of strikers who were demanding that the working week be reduced to how many hours? 40. Yes, after their actions in the Bloody Friday riots, Willie Gallagher, James Murray and William McCartney were each imprisoned for three months while which trade unionist received a sentence of five months? Emmanuel Shinwell. It was Manny Shinwell. Ruth, you had no passes. You've got 12 points. Thanks. And at the end of the specialist subjects round, let's have a look at the scores. In fourth place with four points, it's Sanjay. In third place with nine points, it's Christine. And in joint first place with 12 points each, Chaz and Ruth. So now it's general knowledge. And if there's a tie at the end, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, it's a tie break. So let's ask Sanjay to join us again, please. So Sanjay, you start with four points. You've now got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What plant of the grass family is the main constituent of the diet of the giant panda? Bamboo. Yes, in traditional Highland dress, a large pouch, usually made of leather or fur, that's worn at the front of a kilt is known by what name? Pass. Which planet in our solar system is the sixth closest to the sun and orbits at an average distance of around 886 million miles? Saturn. Yes. What song by Pulp, which reached number two in the UK singles chart in 1995, has the opening line, she came from Greece, she had a thirst for knowledge? Athens girl. No, common people, the Nazi secret police force, the Geheime Staatspolizei, established in 1933, is generally known by what abbreviated name? SS? No, the Gestapo, which Spanish tennis player won her only Grand Slam singles title when she beat Martina Navratilova in the 1994 final at Wimbledon? Maragusa? No, Conchita Martinez. Otalgia is the medical term for a pain or ache in one or both of which pair of organs? Ears. Yes. Ariel is the collection of poems by which American poet? 
published in 1965, two years after her death. Linda Smith. No, Sylvia Plath, the national flag of which Scandinavian country consists solely of a yellow cross on a blue background. Sweden. Yes, which politician first elected to parliament in 1974 has served as the MP for Lincoln and then Derby South and acted as the interim leader of the Labour Party after the death of John Smith in 1994. John Major. No, Margaret Beckett. What organisation was founded in 1919 to restore Britain's woodlands and to address severe timber shortages following the First World War? Forestry Commission? Yes. Which New Zealand-born actor was nominated for an Oscar for his performance as the mathematician John Nash in the 2001 film A Beautiful Mind? Pass. In Japanese cuisine, soba made from buckwheat flour and udon made from wheat flour are varieties of what staple foodstuff? Noodles. Yes, what 1960s American television sitcom has a theme song that begins, here we come, walking down the street, we get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Cheers. No, the monkeys. The Night Riviera is a sleeper train service that runs to and from London Paddington and has its terminus at which town in Cornwall? True. No, it's Penzance. Sanjay, you had two passes. Russell Crowe, New Zealand-born actor, in uh, A Beautiful Mind, that pouch you wear in front of a kilt, a sporran. Mm. At the end of that round, Sanjay, you've got 10 points. <laughs> Next up, it's Christine. Christine, you start with nine points. The score to beat as it stands is 12 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. What annual holiday celebrated on different dates in the United States and Canada was traditionally a celebration to mark the end of the autumn harvest? Labor Day? No, Thanksgiving. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, the letter P is represented by what informal word for father? Papa. Yes, the stage musical first produced in 1963 and featuring the songs Flash, Bang, Wallop and Money to Burn is entitled Harfa what? Sixpence. Yes, what naturally occurring drug obtained from the bark of cinchona trees was, for several centuries, used to treat malaria and other illnesses? Quinine. Yes, which actress won a BAFTA in 2023 for her role in the television drama I Am Ruth as a mother who is concerned at the impact of social media on her teenage daughter? Ruth Wilson? No, Kate Winslet. Of the five lakes in North America, traditionally referred to as the Great Lakes, which is the largest by surface area? Superior? Yes, during the 1980s, Jahangir Khan from Pakistan was a six-time world champion in which sport? Squash. Yes, which American rock group was formed shortly after its members were recruited individually in 1971 to play as the backing band for Linda Ronstadt? Earth, Wind and Fire. No, the Eagles' postcodes beginning with the letters B, T feature in addresses in which of the home nations of the UK? Northern Ireland. Yes, the flowering plant in Patience Walleriana, sometimes known as Patient Lucy, is more usually known by what rhyming common name? Busy Lizzie. Yes, which English monarch, played by Timothy Chalamet, is the title character of the 2019 film The King? Henry II. No, Henry V, a campaign launched by the Ministry of Agriculture during the Second World War, which encouraged the British public to produce their own food, was known as Dig for what? Victory. Yes, the best-selling 2022 book Friends, Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing is a memoir by which star of the American television sitcom Friends? Um, Matthew Perry. Yes, what name for the flat board upon which an artist mixes colours is also a word for the range of colours used for a painting? Palette. Yes, what Latin term, literally meaning the state in which, is used in English to refer to the existing state of affairs or the situation as it currently stands? Et al. No, it's status quo. <sighs> At the end of that round, you had no passes, Christine, and you've got 19 points. Thank you. Next up is Chaz.
So, Chaz, you start with 12 points. The score to beat as it stands is 19 points, and you've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. In an informal expression, someone who has a deep-seated feeling of resentment based on a belief of having been treated unfairly is said to have a chip on which part of the body? The shoulder. Yes. What's the name of the patron saint of Wales whose feast day is observed on the 1st of March? St David. Yes. A 2016 theatre play originally staged in two parts and billed as the eighth story in the Harry Potter series is entitled Harry Potter and the what? Cursed Child. Yes. The songs Back to Life and Keep on Moving were UK hit singles in 1989 for which British dance music collective? Pass. At an elevation of more than 11,000 feet, Pico di Aneto is the highest point in which European mountain range? Dolomites. No, the Pyrenees. What's the subtitle of the 2018 instalment of the Jurassic World series of films which stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard and Rafe Spall? Jurassic World? No, Fallen Kingdom. In the 2022 FIFA World Cup, England were knocked out in the quarterfinals by which country? Uruguay. No, France. What name, partly derived from the Latin word for key, is given to an apparatus sometimes called a steam sterilizer that carries out processes at very high temperatures, such as the sterilization of surgical implements? Oh, clavi. Uh, no, pass. Jaffa and Valencia are common varieties of what citrus fruit? Orange. Yes, what long-necked musical instrument commonly associated with India has a name that translates from Persian as three-stringed? Sitar? Yes, what's the term for a temporary arrangement in which traffic travelling in both directions uses only one side of the carriageway, often while the other is being repaired? Contraflow. Yes, the 1995 book entitled Dreams from My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance was written by which future US president? Uh, Barack, uh, Barack Obama. Yes. What word relating to bird song follows reed, sedge, willow and wood in the names of four species of birds seen in the British Isles? Warbler. Yes. What's the name of the television presenter who, in 2000, began co-hosting the property series Location, Location, Location with Phil Spencer? Curse your soul. Yes. Blue vitriol is an alternative name for the hydrated sulphate of which metallic element? Copper. Yes, which royal residence in central London was built in the 1530s and was the birthplace of the future monarchs, King Charles II and Queen Anne? Pass. Le Corbiere Lighthouse is a tourist attraction on a tidal island. I've started so I'll finish on a tidal island off the southwest coast of which of the Channel Islands? Jersey. It is Jersey. Jazz, you had three passes. Um, the royal residence in central London, built in the 1530s, uh, and the birthplace of King Charles II, Queen Anne. It's St. James's Palace. Autoclave is the uh, name, sometimes called a steam steriliser that carries out processes at very high temperatures. And Soul to Soul were the group behind Back to Life and Keep on Moving. And at the end of that round, Chaz, you've got 23 points. Thank you. And finally, let's have Ruth again, please. So, Ruth, you start with 12 points. The score to beat to get through to the semi-finals is Chaz's 23 points. You've got two and a half minutes on general knowledge. Let's go. Venezia is the Italian name for which city on the country's Adriatic coast? Venice. Yes. What's the three-letter name for a long, bench-like wooden seat with a back traditionally used by the congregation in a church? Pew. Yes. Which British singer won an Oscar for Best Original Song for the theme tune to the 2012 film Skyfall? Adele. Yes. A traditional style of knitted jumper is named after which Irish island group in the mouth of Galway Bay? Aaron. Yes, Hannah Mills, who was one of the two flag bearers for Great Britain at the opening ceremony of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, went on to win a gold medal in which sport? Gymnastics. No, sailing. The aim of the card game pontoon is to acquire cards whose total value equals but does not exceed what number? 21. Yes. What's the name for the pigmented circular tissue at the front of the eye that gives the eye its colour? Iris. Yes, the author and critic born Antonia Susan Drabble. The elder sister of fellow writer Margaret Drabble is better known by what married name? A.S. Byatt. Yes, in the British Armed Forces. What bugle call traditionally played to signify the end of the day is sounded at the Remembrance Day events and military funerals? 
the last post? Yes. What herbivorous, mainly nocturnal marsupial, sometimes known as the short-tailed scrub wallaby, is native to the southwestern part of Australia, particularly Rottnest Island? A possum? No, quokka. In September 2022, William Ruto was sworn in as the new president of which East African country? Kenya? Yes. What adjective? Meaning outdated is the name of a classic cocktail made from bourbon or rye whiskey mixed with sugar and Angostura bitters. Old-fashioned. Yes. Two museums in Brussels opened in 1999 and 2009, respectively, are dedicated to the works of which Belgian surrealist artist? Magritte. Yes, what long-running television show featuring performances of music from the UK Singles Chart was broadcast weekly between 1964 and 2006? Top of the Pops. Yes, what word is used in geometry to describe a triangle with all three sides of different lengths? Um, isosceles. No, scalene, the fairground attraction, sometimes known as bumper cars, in which numerous electrically powered vehicles drive around an enclosure, is usually known by what name? Dodgems. Yes, what adjective derived from a Latin word meaning humpbacked is used in astronomy to describe the moon when it's more than half but not fully illuminated? Oh, um, waning. No, give us which British band had a UK hit single in 1992 with the song, I've started so I'll finish, with the song Friday I'm in Love from their chart topping album Wish. The Cure. It was The Cure. <laughs> Ruth, you had no passes. And you've done it. 26 points. Thank you. Thank you. So let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with 10 points, it's Sanjay. In third place with 19 points, Christine. In second place with 23 points, it's Chaz. High scoring game. And in first place with 26 points, it's Ruth, which means she goes through to the semi finals. Congratulations to her. If you'd like to be a contender in the next series, please go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash mastermind, and you can follow us as ever at Mastermind Quiz. Join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. feels amazing to make it through to the semi-finals of Mastermind. I'm really surprised. I didn't expect to get on to Mastermind and I didn't expect to be going through to the semi-finals, so I'm delighted. The Cure. It was The Cure. My dad inspired me to apply for Mastermind. He was a big quizzer and I was watching Mastermind with him earlier in the year before he passed away. Um, and we saw the, the, the bit come up at the end of the programme saying, would you like to be on the next series? Um, so I thought, why not? And you've done it. 26 points. Thank you. I found out that I'd been accepted onto the program after he died, and um, I just thought he would have been so excited. He would have really, really loved to see all of this. So, yeah, I was thinking of him doing it.